Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully, where we talk about dogs, preferably your dog and mine. And it's been a lot of controversy with the dogs, not just how the dogs are changing colors and mutating. We see that already. We see the changing colors and the mutations. <clears throat> But now about the dogs just literally biting people. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Kids with their face bit off is not good. I don't care. No, it's not good. A bully dog should never bite a person. I mean, the bully, <coughs> especially this new bully that y'all say we've been making to uh, a lot of people say it, even me. You know, we've all said it, that we've been making to take to make to take the aggression out you know we don't want it to be aggressive most of the bullies nowadays are not aggressive dogs you know the dogs that you i'm telling y'all and telling the aspca and whoever looked at my video <clears throat> most of the dogs that y'all see they're mutts man you got to know what a mutt is a mutt is a dog that has no damn paperwork you don't know his grandma you don't know nothing about this dog what do you know about this dog? Nothing. So then, when it goes off and bites somebody, when it bites somebody, then y'all claim it as the wrong dog. It was an American Pit Bull Terrier. Or is a bully dog, a bully type breed dog. I really think the American bully breed dog people, y'all should be held accountable if your dog bites somebody. I really think the ASPCA they should be held accountable if the dogs bite somebody. And I think the dog pound should be held accountable too for not responding to calls. Just like y'all saying something about the dogs, well, let's talk about how they don't respond to calls. They don't take care of the animals. They don't, man. Y'all ain't taking care of these animals. Somebody call you and tell you they seen a vicious pit bull. Oh, well. Oh, well, they just seen a vicious pit bull. Somebody call and tell you that they seen that dog chasing somebody down the street. Y'all gonna ask a stupid question. Did he bite somebody? Well, no, maybe he probably didn't bite nobody yet. But he's probably on his way to biting people. <clears throat> and it's like, why? I don't understand why. I don't understand why, man. Like, how can you talk about the American bully? Or the pit bull terrier? When we call y'all to come get the dogs, y'all don't come get them. If we if we call y'all to seize a dog, we want y'all to take a dog, y'all won't come get them. You won't do that, ASPCA. You won't do that, Animal Shelter. And then you want to call the news and come and have the news uh, film this dog. That's a bully breed type dog. Talk about the bullies and the, and the pit bull terriers and the Staffordshire terriers and any type of bully breed all over the news. But you won't talk about that call. Most of y'all be getting at the office. And sometimes some people even bring the dog to y'all to let you seize it and you, you turn them away. If they don't have a, a certain amount to pay you to take the dog, you turn them away. We don't accept dogs. We don't accept nothing. We only sell. That's all we do is sell. We sell dogs. We sell cats. That's what we do. We are the ASPCA. We sell dogs. We sell cats. And we call it rehoming. If a dog bit a little kid, they'll resell it. They'll resell it. Why? They shouldn't be held accountable for that. Here the dogs are. Y'all talking about the pit bull. Y'all talking about the Staffordshire Terry. But y'all not talking about how you took this mean dog and gave it to someone so he could go back to the streets and bite somebody else. Then you want to blame the community. But we ain't going to blame you for that money that you stuck in your pocket. How do you think the lights stay on at the ASPCA? How do you think the lights stay on at the dog pound? Through the dogs that they sell and the cats that they sell. That's what keeps the lights on. That's what keeps the doors open. 
Remember, I remember a long time ago when they used to have euthanizing dog chambers. They don't have that stuff no more. They ain't euthanizing nothing. They just going to sell it. And it's just terrible how the veterinarians are not helping people. Y'all don't want to help nobody with an animal. If that, if that animal needs help, you're not helping it unless the person has money. This is terrible stuff coming from the people who are blaming the American bully in the pit bull terrier community. This is terrible stuff. This is terrible. This is really, 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 really outrageously terrible right here, ASPCA. Shelter, animal shelter, dog pound. This is really terrible stuff. Why don't you guys release those phone calls that y'all be getting before the dog bites somebody? How come y'all don't have a registration of how many uh, American pit bull terriers is even in your town? How come nowadays when you see dogs walking down the street with their owners, you don't even stop them and tell them that they need to go get that dog some license on it so they know who this dog belongs to in case this dog bites somebody? All the things that the ASPCA should be doing and, and, and the dog pounds should be doing, they're not doing that. They're not doing that. They just want y'all money. That's it. I'm going to tell, tell on y'all ASPCA. <laughs> I'm telling on the ASPCA. <laughs> I'm telling on the animal shelter. I'm telling on the dog pound. Yep, y'all trying to make it seem like the bullies and the, and the, and the uh, pit bulls is, is just terrible. But what about y'all? How come y'all buildings are so empty? Because ain't nobody got no money to come up in there and pay all them fees for what y'all trying to charge for a dog. Y'all charging $20 just to stick a needle in a dog and take some blood from them. That might be even more if you take some blood from them. You guys are charging just anything. Anything you can charge any individual for their animal. You're not helping at all. And then you sit up here and you put these dogs on the television. And you say these are the most violent dogs we have ever saw. But never once mentioned that you guys were called to come get these dogs. And that certain people even brought these dogs to y'all. And y'all turned the dog away. The ASPCA and the dog shelter. Y'all did that. That's exactly what y'all did. Face the bully. That's exactly what y'all did. Now you want to sit here and say that the dogs are violent. Some of them are. They come from terriers. They come from the terrier breed, man. Some of them are. Some of them are. And whoever uh, let their dog out to go bite somebody, you should take his dog. You should take his whole damn, uh, you should take his whole kennel. He don't need no dog. He letting people bite, get, get bit by his dog. He don't need no dog. Take his dog. He a dummy. You didn't saw the news, all these pit bulls biting people. You didn't saw the news of how they trying to take the American bully. You ain't nobody that like the bully. You just like some money. So when y'all see these people, take their dogs too. Take their dogs too. I'm, I'm in agreement with it. Take their dogs too. But I'm not in agreement with y'all attacking the American pit bull terrier and the and the and the um and the American bully. And y'all didn't got calls, man. Plenty of calls to come pick these dogs up. Y'all got plenty of calls to come pick these dogs up. And never showed up. The ASPCA never showed up. The dog pound never showed up. And if you take them dogs down there, they ain't gonna take them. So this is for everybody to know when it comes to the ASPCA and and, and people that's, that's really against the dogs. We know you don't like dogs. You're a dog atheist. We already know that, but we don't care. We don't care about how much you don't like no dog. We don't care. <clears throat> dogs will be, uh, continue to be bred whether you like it or not. That's what, uh, that's what the mountains are for. That's what, you know, people breed, man. We don't care if you like a dog, but I do care if your dog go out and just attack people and then you you know what I'm saying y'all bringing problems into the coach y'all bringing problems into the community that's that's crazy man why you bring problems into the community for man 
You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's a bully community. Everybody here to have fun. Everybody here to show a dog. Some dogs might get aggressive to each other when you walk in the building, but we still having fun. We're here to show a dog. Now we now we getting attacked by ASPCA, PETA, the dog pound. I don't know what the hell the dog pound talking about. I don't know what the hell the ASPCA talking about when y'all won't even take a dog. What is the veterinarian talk about when you won't even help fix a dog? Y'all won't do nothing for no dog, man. Quit playing. And, you know, we, wanna, we ought to just distinct and kill every dog out here. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You're not going to kill every dog out here. What you're going to kill is that noise that the ASPCA and Pete and them be talking about when they be telling y'all that they helping the dogs, but they're not. They selling the dogs. They're legalized. <laughs> they're, legally, they're legally selling dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? They're legalized to sell dogs. They're selling the hell out of these dogs. And then they sit back and blame the community when the dogs bite somebody. Y'all stop that, man. Y'all y'all start fighting back and, and letting y'all voices be heard, man, about what the dog pounds are doing, what the animal shelters are doing. Y'all let y'all voices be heard, man. It ain't just the pit bull that's biting uh, kids. It ain't just the bully that's biting kids. And I don't condone no dog biting no child, no human, no whatsoever. I don't condone it. I think that dog should be put down. But what about all the rest of the breeds that are biting people and they don't they don't show that on TV neither. They only show what they want to show on TV. They will never show you a, 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 a golden retriever biting a kid, which they have. Man, I, I ain't going to come up off that golden retriever with his violent ass. Yeah, he's violent. Go around in some golden retriever kennels and you'll see that's a violent dog. That's a very violent dog. Okay, but yet and still, he's on the front of the milk bone box. Okay, yet and still, they got a golden retriever on the front of the milk bone box. But he violent as hell. They used to retrieve. They don't retrieve no more. They don't retrieve no more. You don't see golden retrievers out there retrieving. You don't even see the dogs. They in somebody's backyard because they violent. Oh, man.